Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Hello, good morning. It is Wednesday and I'm vlogging because today I'm getting my wedding dress. Um, so I already ordered it. We're going to pick up my wedding dress because it came in. I'm very excited. I think this will just be like a plain vlog because I don't really need to put this in my wedding series because like I'm just going to pick it up. Um, but I do have a wedding series where I went twice to try on wedding dresses and we toured wedding venues and it, like our whole engagement series and stuff like that. So if you haven't seen that, definitely go check that out. Um, it's a playlist I can have it linked down below but yeah we're just vlogging today currently getting ready to do my motivational quote of the morning segment and then I'm gonna go make pre-workout and finish getting ready for the day um but yeah I've done like my whole morning routine except for the motivational quote thing so yeah, I'm gonna do that really quick. If you didn't see it on my Instagram, today's quote of the morning is you are so much more than your most like post on Instagram. Can you stay right there? Look at how cute his outfit is. <laughs> I'm impressed. I really saw you and I was like, dang, I like that outfit. You look so handsome. About to fill up my hydro flask. I already made my pre-workout. We by we i mean me because he doesn't take this but um i'm loving the galaxy lemonade pre-workout i do have to say though i like mimosa better but i'm just addicted to mimosas in general so if i'm at a breakfast place i might order a mimosa so today is shoulder day we're going over to colin's house to work out in the basement um after our workouts lately because i just have a feeling that um our gyms will open in the next phase because we kind of like went in reverse with our phases and then things are getting better here now so now I think that they'll open the gyms. I could be completely wrong so I'm not like hyping my like excitement up or anything but in case that I am right we've been kind of like jogging laps after our workout and we just run like up and down Collins Street a couple times and it has been absolutely rough. It's really crazy how when you stop running for like a couple months how much you lose your endurance. It's definitely been a struggle but we're kind of forcing ourselves to do it because we are like prepping for orange theory is what we keep telling ourselves but it is just not the same and i just have said it once months ago and i'll say it again running outside is just not my favorite but we've been trying to do that so that's pretty much colin Colin and Connor always tell my Instagram stories out loud you, you and it pisses me off. We'll be working out in the basement and Connor will literally play my Instagram story out loud of me talking over the big speaker and it's like blasting and it's my least favorite thing. Um, anyways, but that's like the only thing we've changed up about our workout routine. Um, so yeah, also I've been really trying to get my hips to 
they're just so tight so i've been doing like the most stretching as possible for my hips and colin showed me some more stretches last night so now that's also my focus is to get my hips way more flexible and run again both sound awful so I just made a smoothie and on our way home from Colin's house from working out, um, I got a Sephora package in the mail because I placed an online order. So I'll show you guys what I got. It's like a lot of hair care and skincare, um, but I got, I mean not skincare, hair care. Well, I guess, eh, I don't know. Okay, I'll just show you guys what I got. Okay, so I got some Briogeo Farewell Frizz Smoothing Shampoo and Conditioner because I've been obsessed with Playa lately, um, so I wanted to try out the Briogeo kind. And then I also got the Playa Soft Volume Powder so I can like volumize my front because I noticed when you have a middle part, it's hard to keep the volume there. So I got that. I'm excited to try that out. And then I'm very excited. I got the Isle of Paradise um, tanning drops and I got dark because she dark. And then, um, oh, I also got a milk. It's an eyebrow fiber gel, fiber brush. So yeah, got that. And then I also got Olaplex number three for my hair. Um, so yeah, that's about it. My um, hair girls use Olaplex though, so I'm gonna try doing that. And then I just got some of my free samples. So yeah, that was my mini Sephora haul. I just thought I would show you guys quick before I start getting ready to go pick up my wedding dress because we need to be there by like 2.30. So I need to leave here at two to, and I have to go get my mom. So I actually probably need to leave here before two. But yeah, also, ooh, I got the brow gel in the shade Herb. So I'm hoping that's it. I tried to, like to get a similar color as I thought to my eyebrows, but it's very hard to shop online at Sephora. It's very challenging. It's it's not easy. Okay, guys, I am ready to go. This is my outfit. So this jacket over my shorts is Princess Polly, and then I'm just wearing a bodysuit, and then these shorts, and then I've got on these little heels from Princess Polly. So yeah. This is the fit. I'll give you guys like a wide view, but I'm actually running really late, so I need to go pick up my mom like right now. Okay, sorry, I had to like run out of my apartment just because I took my sweet time getting ready and I should not have done that, but I sometimes I do that. Um, so I'm just waiting for my mom to come downstairs of her apartment and I haven't seen my mom in so long. I feel like it's been a couple weeks. We are going to Lovely Bride. So if you missed all those videos, like I said, my wedding dress video where I tried on the dress that I ended up getting was at Lovely Bride. And I put a, like a small clip of people's reactions with a blurred screen over it so you guys can't see the dress that I'm actually wearing. And I've posted pictures on Instagram in wedding dresses, but none of them have been the dress that I'm actually wearing. And they've all actually been extremely opposite of the dress that I've picked so I'm excited because um, I'm like giving literally nothing away um, so yeah and lovely bride is in South End Charlotte and so is flower child so um, I'm kind of hoping that she wants to get lunch and she like doesn't have anything else going on but I honestly haven't really talked to her other than telling her that um, we can go today and asking her what time works for her I keep looking at my review man to see her coming downstairs and yeah my do you guys like my eye keeps running for some reason like on my right eye i don't even know if i'm driving or if she's driving i hope she's driving because she has serious xm radio and i love listening to pop 2k and i don't pay for that because colin always plays his phone got the dress got the veil my arms sweating Hey guys we just picked up the dress i always feel so bad for ali who's working there because we're so extra with like the content and stuff that i have to shoot i'm like please don't think i'm high maintenance mm. <sighs> she's just really cool oops please don't think i'm high maintenance i think that okay, in my head yeah. i think that in my head every time <laughs> because we're always like getting content and stuff because like you just kind of have to. Yeah, but then she said I can't wait to see it. Yeah, so I mean it's okay, but I just really she don't want her to think, think you're. I'm like personally, it's very. If you're wondering, it's very stressful to be in a situation where you're like, okay, I have to take pictures, I have to record, I have to do this, I have to get this for Instagram stories. 
and sometimes it's just very overwhelming I just like don't know and sometimes you forget yeah sometimes I forget and then I get pissed because I'm like ah. missed opportunity yeah but it's okay we you guys go to... could see it. It's cute. It's, I know. Actually, it's not cute. It's, it's like beautiful. beautiful. Like it just suits her. It just suits her, and she looks great in it. Thank yeah. you. I'm but just not saying that because she's my daughter. Like she, it, it, it really suits you. By the way, guys, it didn't zip. It was like so close to zipping, but we just didn't try just because. Well, first of all, I'm like a little bloated from my period, but also. I just like haven't been trying or focusing on like my weight that much like I say out loud like okay I'm gonna shred it and then I don't um no, I thought I saw that on your well and that's because I start running outside and then I'm cursing outside it just isn't fun running outside isn't I know. very much fun the so greenway would be better because it's um it's shady but you're running out in the middle of the sun yeah I'm gonna post all the stuff I just took on Instagram but um what oh the white bag not the dress yeah but um now i'm definitely motivated to start working out but my wedding shred wedding shredding for the wedding series is gonna start as soon as orange theory opens so like august i'm planning okay so we're gonna go get lunch at flower child but first i'm gonna post all this stuff to my story so i can keep you guys updated in real time so if you're not following me on instagram definitely do that especially because we're going to the wedding venue in august and i'm sure you guys want to be ahead of the game versus waiting for the youtube videos because you know and we're at flower child now getting lunch at Flower Child, I'm about to put my good old mask on. Thought I'd vlog a clip before we go inside. I am back home and I just spent a little bit answering emails and scrolling on Pinterest and looking for a pair of white sneakers because I really want just like a normal pair of white sneakers to wear with like dresses and skirts and jeans, not like athletic sneakers. like. Like, you know, like Air Force Ones, but not Air Force Ones. A little bit like more dressy upper than that. I don't know how to describe what I'm looking for, but I'll find it one day. Um, and we're probably gonna make dinner here soon. And I'm officially in health kick because my dress didn't fit. So I would like it to fit before I get alterations in like November. So, and also I just, it's it's about time, you know? I keep saying I'm gonna do it and then I don't do it and then I say I'm gonna do it and then I don't do it. And wedding shred is definitely gonna start in August for sure, but I just need to get a better mindset, I think. This is what we just made for dinner. It's one of those gourmet meals. We made our own chicken per usual when we order a vegetarian meal. But yeah, this was just an impulse decision for my food makings the other day. Um, but it looks pretty good, so. I'm excited. I'm sure he divides evenly because sometimes he gives himself more. And he knows it. Only on occasion. Colin's already ready for bed. I'm taking a little bit longer. I just washed my face, but I told everyone on Instagram that I would talk about my skincare routine in the vlog. So in the morning, I just use face wash. Well, I ice roll. Key factor is the ice roll, face wash, and then moisturizer and then at night I do face wash toner okay here is my toner um, a little literally goes a long way I've used that much and I've had it for so long um, and then after that I use my summer Fridays jet lag mask okay I'll go get those now <laughs> okay so I do my summer Fridays jet lag mask and a little bit of vitamin E oil and I got my vitamin E oil at Whole Foods and I just rub them together. It's like a little bit and a little bit. A little goes a long way. And then I put it all over my face. But now that, here, let me put these down now. <laughs> Don't mind my birth control. Sorry about that. <clears throat> now, oh, I have oil. Hold on. I gotta like put that on my face or something. Oh, God. <laughs> now that I have my Isle of Paradise tanning drops. What I'm gonna do is two times a week, instead of mixing my face moisturizer with my vitamin E oil, I'm gonna mix it with this. So I'll just do this and my Summer Friday Shell Like Mask. And that's it. And then I just do like some little lip balm before I go to bed. It's really simple, but my skin has cleared up so much. Look, it looks really, really good. So the vitamin E oil, in my opinion, is the trick. 
it works really well if I do say so myself and now I'm excited to start using this so I'll let you know how it goes in the morning but I'm excited to try it I'm blurry right now anyways I'll see you guys in the morning good morning so I'm about to get ready do some stretches I'm trying to close my closet and it's not closing because I need to clean it um first I'm gonna make the bed so yeah, Colin usually makes a bed, but I guess today he forgot, so. So, Colin makes a bed, but I clean up the whole living room and kitchen, so it's a fair trade. It's, like, our little thing, but I'll just make it today, just so you know that, like, I do stuff, too. I'm not like, oh, Colin didn't make it. That's stupid. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna make the bed. Okay, here we go. All right, that's done, and I also put on my workout outfit for today. I'm just wearing navigation leggings and a Lulu sports bra. So every morning I've been doing these hip flexor stretches where I'll lean forward. You like put your foot up and you put your knee right against your bed and then you like lean forward and stretch because my hips are so tight. Like I think I said that earlier in the vlog. I'm just trying to do like everything possible because it hurts when I run, they pop all the time and it just is getting old. So I've been holding these for two minutes in the morning after I do yoga. Um, so yeah. That's been helping, but I've only been doing it for like a week. So I'm going to need to keep doing it for a very long time before I see like major progress. But that's what I'm doing now is just holding this. Then I'm going to do my motivational quote of the morning. Okay, I just did the Instagram stories of the morning quote. So I'm going to sit here and put this up so you guys can see it. A lot of you guys tell me that it's the first story you see every morning and it's just very motivating and that makes me so happy so I will keep doing them Monday through Friday until they phase out but I'm hoping that they never do okay my hair is a freaking frizzy mess today I'm gonna just put you guys right here I'm gonna use the new Playa soft volume powder um because I've never used this before and I'm super interested and I like baby powder in a way but I'm just gonna see how well it works to re- generate my roots okay the freaking sticker won't get off of my finger okay there we go so here's my hair you know not really uh i honestly think i should look in the mirror for this okay i can kind of see it it said you just put a little bit in your roots like two inches i'm just gonna like really get it in there okay and then use your fingers to work it through like all over my face for a second but that definitely looks a little bit better. Might need to master that. I have actually no idea what I'm doing, but oh well. Doesn't really solve my, my hair is so frizzy problem. It is so freaking humid in North Carolina like this past week and it is just, just, it's just not it. So I made an Instagram story asking you guys what else you wanted me to talk about in the vlog because um, I'm vlogging today, well, per usual, you know, just like things you wanted me to mention in my vlogs. And one thing was you wanted me to mention how I put outfits together and it is literally the most simple answer ever. I get all of my inspiration from Pinterest, from my style board. I also have a board that's called inspo and I just save things or if I'm scrolling on Instagram and I see a girl in her cute outfit. Then I save it and then I just use clothes in my closet to recreate it. So if you're ever scrolling and you're like, oh, that's cute, then just save it. And then go back and try and recreate it with outfits you already own. And that's pretty much how I put outfits together. It is a very simple answer, but that's just how I do it. There's no serious anything that goes into it. So yeah, and then when I'm online shopping, I just kind of pull up things that I thought were cool or something I wanted to recreate and kind of shop according to that. I do have a clothing haul coming soon um, with Princess Polly and some other brands. So yeah, I'm excited about that because I'm going to do um, Instagram try-ons, but also do like a YouTube haul of a bunch of summer clothes. So that is coming soon if you need some outfit inspiration, but definitely just like Pinterest and save things on your Instagram best advice I've got. I just needed to put my hair up because it was really bugging me so I just put half of it up but um so yeah inspo today if you guys want outfit inspo I'm just wearing this oversized sweatshirt from Free People. Free People and Princess Polly in my opinion have like the best graphic tees and like graphic sweatshirts and stuff so this one's from Free People. My cousin Reagan aka my favorite person in the whole wide world she's 20 today today's her birthday um she got me this for christmas and 
yeah, I'm just wearing Princess Polly biker shorts underneath, so it's really simple. And then I get a lot of, oh my god, pretty much get all of my jewelry from Ana Luisa or Princess Polly. My necklaces are from Princess Polly, but, um, like that choker necklace is from Ana Luisa. My rings, which I'm not wearing right now, are always Ana Luisa. But yeah, I just like really simple, like neutral, basic outfits. So there's that. I'm like kind of getting hungry, so I might make lunch. Guys, I just called my trusty future hubby in here. <laughs> AKA the only one who's good at anything hanging up on walls. Cause you I don't- it lower? Yeah. Like how much lower? I'll show you. Okay, so I was trying to take an outfit picture for my Instagram. Cause you know, I have like that whole OOTD thing. By the way, okay, actually I'll tell you that in a second. I get sidetracked sometimes. Um, I was just trying to take a selfie like thing to show you guys my outfit. And I just determined that the mirror is just too dang high and I just don't want it that high anymore. So I called him in here and told him I want it lowered, please. And so he's gonna help me with that. And I'm gonna find somewhere to set you guys while we do this. I'm just gonna grab this from here. Set you here. Turn up the brightness because that's what you gotta do in situations like these. Okay. Also, I did a terrible job of placing this blanket on the couch today. Okay, here, I'll show you. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Thanks. Okay. I really want it, like, right here. Okay, well, hold your horses. Um, here, you can sit down for me to get a pencil. Because it is just like, I go on my tippy toes when I try and take pictures in this mirror. And it is just, it is, it is just not what I want. <laughs> it's just not the way I want to do things anymore. Can you put it back up again? Even though we're about to move in like a couple months. Like that? Mm-hmm. Now you're gonna watch me make an Instagram story. It'll all be so fun. Guys, I decided that our mirror was too high and it was kind of pissing me off. So we're lowering it. Having a great Thursday. Except I don't know how to do anything home decor so I needed help. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a monkey hook. Mm -hmm. But I'm here right now. TikTok songs are freaking in my head. Oh, yes. Ah, except that's so ugly. Yeah. You know what I heard? You take toothpaste and like... Well, yeah, when we move, we have to patch up all the holes too. Oh my God, this is so much better. Don't you think? I'm not even being exact, like, I have no exaggeration. I feel like that is so much more proportionate. If you're new here, the reason it was hung up so high was because the dresser used to have legs and then in the process of moving, the legs kind of like broke off and so then we had to just it's take all like the legs exactly off. Exactly where you wanted it Yeah, to like stay. we had it measured with the legs on the dresser, then the leg broke and then we took all the legs off and now it's exactly where I want it to be. So I feel like this is so much better. It literally looks so much better. Look at that. We just had a minor freak out, guys, because the whole world thought TikTok, are you kidding me? Whole world just thought TikTok was crashing and everything is okay. So I just made a TikTok of Colin's glow up. If you haven't seen it yet, you should go watch it. There's a ton of little baby pictures of Colin. Super cute. The one of the two babies, Connor is the smaller baby, if you're wondering. I'm about to make a little snack. I'm making a pesto breakfast burrito with eggs and sausage and a little bit of pesto and spinach. I guess we'll throw some healthy stuff in there. Um, probably gonna saute the spinach in with the eggs and sausage and stuff. So that's gonna be my lunch today. So there's a little lunch idea. I don't eat like breakfast in the morning, you know, cause I fast and then drink a smoothie. So sometimes I like eating breakfast for lunch cause breakfast is good, you know? I'm gonna make that right now. Cause you grow hungry. So right now I have my eggs. I just cooked the sausage and I've got my eggs in there. 
I'm about to like scramble them up so it's like an egg scramble but first I'm just adding salt and pepper and then on our mini little center thing I just have the tortilla kind of getting warm so it's like one of those flat cooktop places where you could like make pancakes and stuff okay seasoning and then once the eggs cook for a little bit then I'll add the spinach in and then once the tortilla gets warm, then I just put some butter down because butter tastes good. Um, and then some pesto. And then I'll put all of the eggs and the sausage inside the tortilla and we will call it a day. It's like really simple. Oops, I cannot put that there. Okay. Also, the pesto that I'm using is vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto from Trader Joe's. I haven't actually tried it yet. We're going to make pesto chicken later for dinner, too, with, like, roasted potatoes and probably some veggies of some sort. Um, we just haven't discussed the veggies yet. Well, that's what we think. We also just mentioned Chipotle, like, three minutes ago. So, we will see what is the best option. But, um pretty excited about lunch because I'm so hungry and it just took me like 20 minutes to make that video on Colin for my TikTok because I don't really know how to use TikTok very well. It's quite challenging if you ask me. I don't get the default. If someone could please down below like explain how you edit stuff on TikTok that would be really greatly appreciated because I just cannot figure it out. Okay a little bit of spinach for my little burrito but then Okay, I had it on TikTok, and I thought I, like, aligned everything how I wanted to, and then I was like, okay, done, and then I would only play the first video when I, like, went to go over where you write the caption and stuff, or where you do the effects and the text and all that stuff, so I was just, like, truly confused. I just don't understand. Okay, that makes my plate. Here's my tortilla. butter down really quick. Then I'm going to put probably too much butter. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. That's so hard with one hand. Okay, buttering the tortilla because it just honestly tastes amazing. No other reason. Goodness. Then, stir this one more time and take that off of the burner. Cooking and vlogging at the same time is like very hard. Ah! Now I'm just gonna take just a little bit of pesto, not a whole lot. Just kind of like get it in the center, put the lid back on that. Okay. And we have ourselves a little egg burrito. Here it is. Now I'm gonna like try and wrap it, but honestly, once I wrap it, I kind of need to eat it because then it starts falling apart. We've finished all of our work for the day and it is like 4.48. Work week pretty much slows down for us a lot on Thursdays and Fridays, but I work a lot on Saturdays, so it's okay. So before we make dinner, we decided it would be fun if we went and laid out by the pool. So I'm going to pick out a bathing suit to wear except my bathing suit drawer is full of like half workout clothes half bathing suits so yeah I don't know which bathing suit I want to wear I haven't gotten any new bathing suits at all this year I don't know I just I honestly kind of have a lot of bathing suits and bathing suits are something that I always invest in like I don't really like to get the cheap bathing suits because in my opinion I feel like they wear easier and they don't last as long so I usually like to invest in like nicer quality like I love L Space, I love um, Amuse Society bathing suits, I really like, um, I'm trying to think, I like Peony swimsuits, I like Love Wave. I really want to order um, a bathing suit from this brand called Bidey, Beady, 
it's like B-Y-D-E-E -E or something. I don't know. They have a really cute purple one. I found them on Instagram. They have a really cute purple bathing suit with lemons on it. And I want to get that one so bad for our honeymoon. But I'm probably going to wait and get bathing suits closer to our honeymoon because until then it like really doesn't matter. But on our honeymoon, I want to like take cute pictures together and then post about our cute bathing suits. So yeah, that's like my thought process behind that. I'm currently just trying to find a bathing suit that I want to wear. This one, oh, PacSun does have some pretty good bathing suits too, by the way. I used to get a lot of my bathing suits on PacSun. Um, and sometimes they'll have sales, but you need to catch it quick because if you don't, they'll sell out so fast. And usually shopping on PacSun, you have to like sign up for their emails because then you'll get emails when they have new swim. And for some reason, their stuff just sells out so quick. But the bathing suit I chose to wear, I got from PacSun um, a little over a year ago. I got it, wait, was it a year ago? No, it was two years ago. Wait, when did I go to, no, it was a year ago. I forgot when I went to Cabo San Lucas. It was a year ago. I got it for that. But anyways, I'm going to change. <laughs> okay, we're changed. We're going to go to the pool. Guys, our towels are from Target. If I can find them, I will link them below. And then here's our little pool area. There's Colin trying not to burn like usual. We're still trying to debate what. We're still trying to debate if we're going to order food or if we are gonna cook food. And that is just the constant debate towards the end of the week. We're either gonna order today and cook tomorrow or cook today and order tomorrow. Who knows? The sky looks so pretty, oh my goodness. I have like an obsession with skies lately. Hence why this is my new phone case. So cute. Okay, we ended up ordering Chipotle because who wants to cook after they go to the bed pool? What? There's still plenty in there. Yeah, I know. Colin just broke my Isle of Paradise tanning drops and the dropper thingy broke. Hey, hold up. What? We have to have something else out of the dropper. Like no, we don't have anything else with the dropper. We have to. We don't. We have to. Anyway, Colin broke it. So, I'm upset, because I just bought it. Got it yesterday. She's being a jerk. No, I'm not. So I wanted to carry the vlog into the morning just because I wanted to do the face tanning drops again for another night. I think I put a little bit too much on. I do have bronzer and blush on, but if you just look at my chin, I don't have any makeup on my chin area, and it is pretty dark, so now I need to tan the rest of my body. So yeah, I'm wearing Lululemon and Gymshark today, but I just wanted to show you my little tan before I end the vlog. I'm gonna start a new one today, and then we'll keep going with the whole vlogging situation. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already subscribed and stick around and join the fam, and I will see you guys in my next video.